Hello and good afternoon. I have found the key to job satisfaction in any role. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. It is as simple as one word dopamine. And it's all about figuring out what makes you feel good in your job and tailoring your role around finding and appreciating those moments. So today's little video blog is going to be focused on helping dentist practice owners feel job satisfaction because when you are full of joy and appreciation and happiness, that will trickle down to your team and everyone will feel that way as well. To a point, right? Um, so today, as I go through these different items on the list that might cause your brain chemistry a little hit of dopamine and help you feel more and more um, appreciative and happy in your role, I want you to think outside of the items that I list. I want you to come up with your own list of things that, that excite you because those are going to be the things that motivate you to stay in business, not just for the short term, but these things are going to help you prevent burnout because you will be out, you will be focused on the positive and that will overpower those challenging moments. So today's video is very, very important for anyone, especially those in an ownership or leadership role. So the first one is case acceptance, wait for it, for the services that you actually enjoy. So how do you feel when you hear yes from the patient and it is um, you know, treatment that you know the patient needs or it's treatment that you enjoy seeing the before and after. So outline those service offerings that you really enjoy and you can actually tailor your marketing to bring in more patients interested in those particular services. This will help you have more joy on a day-to-day -day basis. That's number one. Number two, positive feedback. This can be in the form of compliments. This can be in the form of reviews. And this can be in the form of simple appreciation. So positive feedback is really helpful for you to enjoy what you do. And this will all, should also have you thinking about how often you appreciate your team because it will also help them with retention because they will enjoy their, their working environment. Okay, next, problem solving. That second word, solving. Some people get a really... Um, good hit of dopamine when they solve a problem. And so the bigger the problem, the bigger the dopamine hit. So you've been having this issue. You haven't been able to fill this role. You haven't been able to find the right person. You maybe haven't figured out your hiring processes or your firing processes. And those problems or obstacles are weighing you down. And then you finally come up with a new system or process or protocol that gives you peace and gives you clarity and solves the problem at hand. Those problem solving systems are over time going to help you feel a bigger sense of accomplishment, more hope and positivity. The key here is to focus on the problem solving processes, give more attention to those, know in your heart and in your mind that you will get over what problem, whatever problem you're facing right now, if someone else has overcome it in the past, you too will figure out how to overcome it. And if you need to reach out for professional support on business problems, because you know other people have already solved these problems, don't assume you know it all. Reach out, get that support, fix the problem, and now you can move on to the next problem that you're going to fix, and you'll have that stream of dopamine every time you solve a new problem. So you wanna change how you think about problems and problem solving, and you want it to be something that you get excited about not overwhelmed by or weighed down by. Next, achieving goals really helps you have that hit of dopamine. When you look at your numbers and you see, okay, we did bring in more new patients than we needed to, to hit our numbers and to be successful as a team. Let's cheers, let's celebrate, let's um, be happy in that moment. You can't always focus on the goals that were missed you want to also shed light on the goals that were achieved. And remember, your goals need to be measurable, they need to be attainable, realistic, and you need to have a plan for how you're gonna hit those goals. And if something you've given something enough time um, to work, which is different based on whatever the method is, and it's not working and you're not hitting your goals, it may be time to reevaluate things like budget, timeline, even your brand. I see a lot of people 
put their unique selling proposition out to the world and it doesn't solve a need that the general population realizes that they have. An example of this is how I see people market sleep apnea treatment. A lot of times they're not um, putting that messaging out in a way where it hits the target market um, it, at their perceived needs. So most people don't think they need an oral appliance for sleep apnea and they're not searching sleep apnea. They are, they are searching for other things like sleep center or they need to see a video on social media that educates them that this is even an option for them. So some marketing is not really hitting on um, the right message to get that conversion or that momentum. Um, so the next one, learning and growth, just general growth, um, whether it be that you've overcome a big obstacle and now you feel stronger when you encounter that obstacle in the future, or you've just seen, you look back, you take that moment to look back and go, where were we six months or a year ago? And look how far we've come. You've got to have those moments or you just get drowned, you drown in the negativity. And that's really um, not the best way to lead a business. Next, new business connections. For some people, this is provides a really strong boost of energy and satisfaction in their work because when they connect with other people, they feel more connected to their mission and their purpose. So if that sounds like you, get out there, get into the community, go to networking events, meet other business owners, make those connections. Um, I also find that this is very, very important in knowing other business owners in a similar path as yours. It doesn't have to be your direct competitor where you become best friends, but it helps having those connections because when you are in the trenches and you're still in that, we're figuring out this obstacle phase. You have someone else that you know has been there and you know they've gotten through it and it can help you a whole lot to stay positive and enjoy those moments of, of growth and success. Um, and last but not least, people tend to have uh, a, a strong sense of satisfaction and can even get a little hit of dopamine if they feel like they have some level of autonomy in their work. And for a business owner, this comes when you give yourself permission to lead. You give yourself permission to make business decisions, to stand by those business decisions. And you realize that every business decision does not have to be put up for a vote. Including your team and involving your team does not mean that every single one of your team members needs to be included in the brand positioning or um, what kind of scrubs you're going to buy. If you open up every decision to everyone's opinions, you're actually going to hit a lot of roadblocks. You're going to move a lot slower and you're not going to be able to enjoy the, um, the positive adrenaline, not adrenaline, but dopamine hits from making quick decisions and feeling confident in your decisions. And here's the fun part about business. If you make the wrong decision, um, most decisions are not that big. Most decisions are fairly quick and easy decisions. Are we getting blue scrubs or green scrubs? What's the worst that can happen, right? So try to not overthink and try to prioritize um, and put more energy into the bigger, riskier decisions, such as what marketing company should we use? I'm biased, but I think you should use identity dental marketing. Um, and make sure you give less energy to all those little decisions that can really slow you down and impede on your ability to feel the joy um, in your day. So if you haven't thought about dopamine and how it helps you to enjoy your work day, your work life, start thinking about that because that's what's going to allow you to stay in it for the long haul. That's what's going to allow you to prevent burnout and stay positive for your team and for your patients. Well, I hope this video was something to think about. I hope it gets you growing and improving. And please join our Facebook group, Dentistry's Growing with Grace. You can follow our podcast, also titled Dentistry's Growing with Grace, or consider hiring our marketing agency, Identity Dental Marketing. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day.